Our text for today is taken from the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 28, which reads, For you are all one in Christ Jesus. So far the text. There is a common misunderstanding about God's law. But many people assume that we can be at peace with him when we obey his commandments. But how can this be? Who could possibly do this? No one. Uh, therefore, the law of God exposes all of us as guilty. Because we have all sinned. No one can honestly say, Lord, I have done all that you have commanded. And since we have all disobeyed God, we all deserve to be punished. When we come to the realization of this, the law forces us straight to Christ. We come to him not as righteous people, but as exposed sinners. For that is what we are. And Jesus meets us in our sorrow with the good news that as God's children, forgiveness and the heavenly kingdom belong to us because we have responded to the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior with a heart that is swollen with repentance. Through the gift of the Holy Spirit, God has given us the ability to partially understand what he has revealed to us in the scriptures. That on account of our baptism, we are now one in Christ. In other words, all believers are united together as members into his body, which incorporates the entire church on earth. The Apostle Paul in Galatians chapter 3, points out some of our noticeable differences. Nationality, social class, and gender. When we become members of the Lord's church on earth, these differences are not taken away or removed from us. But as God intended, all of our uniqueness now make up one body, the body of Christ, who serves the head with all of our individual gifts and talents, according to the will of God and his command, with joy and thanksgiving. For as Paul states in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verses 4 through 6, there is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope that belongs to your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, as you have united us into your body through the gift of faith, Help us to serve you in your church on earth with all that you have blessed us with so that more souls will be saved by you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.